Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna do a short video um, and the video is about upgrading um, a ThinkPad X1 Carbon, 7th generation. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the solid state drive uh, in this computer. Uh, this particular one, it came with uh, 256 uh, gigabytes hard drive, which um, for many people it's uh, barely enough. Uh, so with the price of the drives uh, constantly going down, uh, it is a good time to actually purchase another uh, another hard drive and uh, have it replaced. It's very very simple, uh, almost uh, no skills needed uh, to do that, no special skills needed to do that. Uh, today we're gonna upgrade it with a one terabyte uh, solid state drive. Uh, now keep in mind this particular computer uses an NVMe type of SSD drive uh, and uh, when you're buying a replacement drive uh, I would highly recommend you to look at the read and write speeds of that uh, of the drive you're gonna uh, replace uh, you're gonna have it replaced in your computer as uh, there are a couple uh, major differences between uh, between them uh, first of all this computer will uh, take uh, PCI Express 3.0 is not going to take the fourth generation one, which will give you, uh, which could potentially give you speeds of up to uh, 5,000 megabytes a second. Uh, but uh, just uh, as I said, pay close attention to the read and write speeds. Some NVMe drives, the cheaper ones, uh, will peak at about uh, 16, 1700 uh, megabytes a second. You want to buy something. Um, I'm not gonna name brands, but um, you'd want something which uh, the, the read and write speeds are at least uh, 3,000 megabytes a second. With that said, um, you're also gonna have two options uh, when it comes to installing the drive. Uh, either uh, start uh, from scratch with the new uh, Windows uh, install. Um, or uh, you might uh, choose to actually clone the existing drive into the new one. If you're planning to clone the drive, uh, first, before you replace the hard drive in the machine, you will need to buy yourself one of these adapters. It's an NVMe type um, adapter, which will plug in, you'll put in the drive, the new drive, you'll plug it in like this, in here and this end of the USB Type-C will go into your, um, into your USB-C of your computer. There are a bunch of uh, free cloning software uh, available online. Uh, download the cloning software, choose the option to clone your drive, and over the USB Type-C interface, um, the cloning, uh, even if the drive is full, should take less than half an hour. Now, if you choose to, uh, uh, to start from scratch, uh, basically to install a new copy of the Windows. Uh, keep in mind that Windows does offer uh, ISO image um, of their Windows 10 operating system for free. Uh, so you'll have to, uh, I'll show you in a moment how to download, the, how to download that onto a USB. It's going to be a very brief uh, instruction on how to do it. There are many tutorials online on how to create an ISO um, file and uh, once uh, once you have the, um, uh, the ISO file onto a USB drive uh, you can put in the new drive inside of your computer boot up from the external drive and uh, you do not need to buy a new Windows license because the Windows 10 comes with a digital license which is embedded in the firmware of your computer into the BIOS of your computer so when you're installing the Windows, the Windows will pick the license from the BIOS. So the Windows will be automatically um, activated. Okay, so no need to buy a, a license. Uh, the tool, uh, the, the Windows image, it's available for free online. And I'm gonna show you a, a simple way to just look for it. I'm not gonna give you a certain website, but just use Google as your best friend. So basically, this is what you have to type. You open a Google and you type in uh, Windows Win 10 ISO download. It's gonna be the first result right here. Uh, look at the website, it's Microsoft.com. You click on this link and you will see download Windows 10 image disk and you'll have obviously you'll have to select the uh, 
edition uh, right now only Windows 10 is available you click continue and then you'll choose uh, the language okay we're gonna do let's see here English and confirm then you're gonna choose the 64-bit download not the 32-bit the 64-bit download and pretty much after that uh, follow the tutorials online on how to uh, create an ISO image bootable disk drive uh, okay so we're not doing that today as there are many many videos about that I'm just gonna show you how to physically remove your old drive and install the new drive inside okay so let's uh, let's proceed okay just give me one second here to set up the camera So, we have the carbon, okay, we're gonna turn it, first of all, make sure that the computer is completely off, okay, and on the back, you're gonna have five screws, one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna start to remove the screws, are you using a standard um, Phillips? screwdriver one two three four five with the screws removed just put your fingers under the back cover and just lift it up just like this and you have as you see this is the inside of your computer now the your hard drive is located right under this plastic protective film this is your hard drive as you see it uses one regular Phillips screw to hold it down we're gonna remove that screw we're gonna lift it up and pull it out of your uh, machine now in some instances uh, this particular um, better um, you'll have here a thermal pad okay sometimes this will get stuck on the back of the drive just remove it from there try not to touch it with your fingers but rather use the tweezers and reapply it on the logic board we're gonna take the new drive we're gonna put it inside just like this okay and we're gonna sit it there. if it's properly inserted is gonna be completely flush the, the screw all right there okay now in this case the customer provided the hard drive okay we're gonna put the screw back in put the film back on and we will close the back of the computer we're gonna put it we're gonna start okay I'm gonna show you let me just okay so we're gonna put it at an angle something like this and we're gonna press it a little bit on the sides now we cannot press it too much because the screws are holding okay so we're gonna Screw back the screw, the screws, okay and that's about it, this is all it, all it takes, uh, you have the new, uh, the new hard drive, uh, the new solid state drive installed in your machine. And now you can uh, proceed with um, either installing, as I said, installing a new version of the Windows, or if you already cloned your drive, there's no BIOS settings, which you have in case you have the, um, the disk cloned. Uh, there's no BIOS settings you'll have to go through in order to for the computer to recognize the drive. It will just pick up uh, the drive you just uh, had replaced and uh, 
that's about it. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's as uh, simple as it is uh, in replacing the the drive in uh, in this uh, Exxon Carbon. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, uh, please comment, uh, subscribe to my channel, and why not like the video? Till next time, take care. Bye bye.